Can you believe that in our lifetime, one of the biggest events in history took place on Saturday night? Can you believe on Saturday night, one of the biggest events took place? Well, it's Saturday night over here. Donald Trump, the former president of the USA, nearly got assassinated. What do you think when I say that? What goes through your mind when I tell you? What, what did you think when you heard that on the news? Lads, what did you think? About Donald Trump nearly getting shot. What did you think about it? It would have, you'd be sad, would you? Yeah. I would have been sad too. Yeah, I'm asking. But he divides opinion, doesn't he, Donald Trump? Yeah. You'd be sad, sir, would you? Yeah, I'd have been sad too. Anyone else sad or happy? Can you believe Jack Black, the comedian, stood up on a stage and said, why did he miss? People, there's a lot of hatred in the world, isn't there? Now, as you can see on this board right now, I've got the six most hated men ever to live. Let me ask you a question. Who else might you add on that list? Would anyone add would anyone add Donald Trump to that list? Stalin. You'd add Stalin to that list. You'd add him to that list? Yeah, okay. Anyone else? Anyone else? Who else would you add to this list? You. You'd add me. I'm a nice man, sir. Why would you add me? Anyone else? Who would you add to this list? The six most hated men. Jimmy Savile's on there. Okay, well, let's go through. Let's name some of the ones we've got because number six is gonna blow your brains out. Number six is a mystery. Right, number one, okay. Can anyone tell me who number one is? Someone shout it out. Hitler. Adolf Hitler, this man's right. Adolf Hitler, okay. Number two, a little bit harder. Is anyone watching Netflix? Do you know who number two is? Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy, you're right. Ted Bundy was a very evil serial killer, okay? And he did terrible things to women. What about number three now? Those of you going by, I'm saying I've got the six most hated men. I'm asking you to name these men right now. Number three, who is number three? You're right, it's Chairman Mao. Do you know this man has killed more people than all of these people put together? He did some very, very, very wicked things. Okay, number four. Who's this man? Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile, you're right. Jim will fix it. One of the most evil men. We won't even speak about what he did. Now, number five is a little bit of a trick question. My friend, don't go yet. You might be able to help me with number five. You're the one who's getting all of them right. Number five, what do you think it is? Anybody know who number five is? It is a trick question, okay? Because we don't know what he looked like. You're right. You got it right. It's, it potentially, we don't know, but this is one of the people he suspects. Now, everyone do a favor for me. We're going to do a social experiment. Everyone take a look to your left. Everyone take a look to your right. Just take a mental picture of everyone who stopped now. There's about 20 of us listening. Because when I turn over number six, I guarantee that at least one person will walk on by when I reveal who number six is. This man is more hated than all of these people put together, and I'm gonna prove it to you right now. Are you ready for it? Everyone, are you ready? Just before I do turn it over, can I just say something to you? It was said about this person that he was hated without a reason. So if you do walk on by, just do a favor. As you walk away, in your mind, ask, to sell, ask yourself the question, what is the reason why I don't like this person? Got about 40 listening now. Let's see. Was I right or was I wrong? Was I right or was I wrong? You, you knew I'd say that, did you, okay? Well, it's interesting, isn't it? Imagine me and you in a pub, okay? Maybe we're talking about the Euro. Maybe we're to we start talking about these men even. You're happy to talk about it. But as soon as I mention the name Jesus Christ, God botherer. Bible basher. I don't want to talk about that. I don't have time for it. It's true, isn't it? And Jesus said, if you're not for me, you're against me. It just proves, doesn't it, that people don't like him. But listen, you might not like Jesus Christ, but did you know this? Jesus Christ deeply loves you. It's all you have to do is look at the cross. Look at the crown of thorns that was smashed into his skull. Look at the, the nails that were put through his hands and his feet. He was spat on. He was mocked. He was stripped naked there to die in front of his own mother. I can think of many ways I'd like to die, but that is not one of them. Why did Jesus Christ die such an ugly death? Because your sin, my friend, is ugly. My sin is ugly. And my sin and your sin will take us to a place of eternal darkness called hell. That's why I'm stood here today. Do you think I just like the sound of my own voice? Shouldn't this is easy to stand here? It's not, but I'm here because I believe there is a place called hell and I do not want anyone to go there. And the Son of God didn't want you to go there. That's why he went to the cross. He wasn't hated by everyone. He was hated by the Jews themselves. He no, but now he is. Now he's, now he's very much hated. You're right about that, though. You're right. The Jews hated him. 
And Jesus said, you know, my own people won't receive me, but other people do. Do you love Jesus, sir? Can I ask you, do you love him? And would you like to get to know him? You don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, there's apathy. And, and I, would, I would rather someone shouted me in the face and said, I'm a load of rubbish, I'm this, that, than ignore me. And that's what most people do with Jesus. They ignore him. Churches are getting emptier and emptier and mosques are getting fuller and fuller. No one cares about the Son of God who rose from the dead. And I'm asking us the question, why? Why do people not care about Jesus? Because the Bible also says righteousness exalts a nation. And the more we turn our back on the Son of God, the more we turn our back on the righteous one who can offer us eternal life, the more this world will keep going down and down. You know, it was just three weeks ago, I was walking around in Preston with my children. I'll, I'll tell you something, I've never been more embarrassed in my life. Born and bred in forward, grew up in Preston, and yet there was people running around with like blood coming down their arms. There was a metal pipe, a man with a metal pipe, drug, drug addicts, people swearing. Awful. What's happened to Preston? What's happened to the UK? I'll tell you what's happened. We've taken God out of the schools. We tell our children that they come from animals. If you tell people constantly you're just an animal, is there any reason why they don't, why they act like animals? Is there any reason why we say there's no God, there's no me, there's no purpose? Is there any reason why more children today are committing suicide? That's the biggest killer today. But when your grandparents were cheap teenagers, did you ever hear about children killing themselves? No, you didn't. Because they were told there's a God who loves them, there's a God who died for them, and there's a God who cares about them. And that God, he's still there today. He loves you to pieces. Whoever you are, whatever's going through your life right now, this God loves you and he wants a relationship with you. And he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross. And if you want that for yourself, you can have it. I started by talking about Donald Trump at the beginning, okay? We're talking about Donald Trump and what's happened to him. Here's a big question for you. Imagine you were Donald Trump, okay? Imagine that that bullet nearly went past your ear. What would happen? What would happen, my friends, if that was nearly you? I was just saying before, in all the, the years I've done it, I've never been arrested. I was just thinking then, <laughs> we're getting very close here. But my friend, Donald Trump stood there on Saturday and a bullet went just past his ear. Just one millimetre and Donald Trump would be dead. Imagine you were stood in his place and imagine the bullet hit you. Where would you go? Big question. Where would you go if you died tonight? The Bible says there's a place called heaven and there's a place called hell. I don't want anyone to go there and neither does Jesus. And that's why he asks you to come to him and receive him. The most beautiful part of this story about Donald Trump that many didn't talk about is there was a man called Corey. When the bullets went off, do you know what this man did? He picked up his daughter, he picked up his wife, he threw them on the floor and he jumped on them to shield them from the bullets. Who was Corey? He's the one man that died at that rally that day. He laid down his life to save his family. Jesus Christ once said, greater love has no man than this in that he lays down his life for a friend. Christ did that for you. I'm sure you would do that for one of your loved ones. But Christ, the innocent one, laid down his life for you so that you could be saved. My dear friends, please, please consider these things. If you want to have a chat to us, we'll be here all day. We love you and we're not against you. I'm sorry if I'm speaking with a loud voice, but just want to get the message out there. God bless you all and thank you for listening.